Hi guys. Ну вот первая ночь позади. Отлично выспался. Сейчас без двух минут шесть. С каким-то чудом я заказал себе завтрак на 7 утра. Я не знаю, что я тут буду делать целый час. Вроде пора стартовать. The second day of the Camino begins. I am leaving a huge alberga in Roncesvalles and heading to Zubiri. Уже смешно. 22 километра и на 500 метров вниз по сравнению с вчерашним. Через Гайзи я отправляюсь в поход. Let's take a look around the area. This large building in the monastery itself with the alberga. There are really about 400 pilgrim beds in there. The second floor where I spent the night was completely filled. I don't know about the third floor, but it was also not so empty. All the life in the town is centered around the alberga. I don't know what they are doing here in winter when the flow of pilgrims disappears. And this is a famous road sign with distance to Santiago de Compostela. Most pilgrims are usually taking pictures next to it, and so do I. <laughs> As I said, guys, I am heading to Zubiri. It's in 22 kilometers. And I am going to make a decision later on whether to add another 5 kilometers to the next village. Now we are all moving along the route in the peloton. Front and back are pilgrims with backpacks on their shoulders. Everyone moves at about the same pace. Today the weather is pleasant for walking. It rained at night. The air is fresh. The trail goes through the forest. So far, a slight bias. There are several small climbs ahead of us on the route. But in general, today there is a rather strong descent down. About 600 meters. After three hours of walking, I have about 16 kilometers behind me. It is about 10 o'clock now. It's time to have a break with breakfast. And it's also time to get acquainted with new people and talk to pilgrims. Hi, Christina. Where are you from? Hi. <laughs> That's an easy question. <laughs> I'm from Slovenia. Well, first of all, I had time. Mm, this is my second Camino, and um, when I finished the first one, um, I didn't go to Fudistera. And I had a feeling that something's missing, so I want to do it once again. And otherwise, I also want to just take time for me and myself and connect with myself. Reconnect. Great, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> we continue now our Camino. Some six kilometers left to Zubiri. Three point four kilometers left to Zubiri. My desire to go further was gone. But I will make a decision when I am in Zubiri. Finally, I achieve my goal cross the medieval bridge and take a little relax on the bank of the central piazza of Zubiri. 
After short rest, I still found the strength to go another 5 kilometers to La Rasoania. And this is how I finally landed up in Albergue San Nicolas in La Rasoania. <laughs> um, my name is Stephanie and I'm from Idaho in the United States. Uh, yes, um, I don't consider myself a religious person necessarily, but very spiritual. Um, I believe in God and I had never really had this idea to go to Santiago like this, but um, I was going through a divorce and in a really dark place and not doing so well and a voice told me Santiago de Compostela it just kind of popped into my head and so I remember saying to myself you have to follow through with this to honor whatever voice told you to do this and so I found a flight for $398 and I booked it the next day so that's why I'm here. My name is Libby I'm from California oh. and I am doing this pilgrimage for a myriad of reasons really but mostly just because I had gotten to a point where I was in a rut in my life and I had seen a movie called The Way years ago and it just stuck in the back of my head and when I got to this point where there was, I didn't really have anything that was holding me anymore in California. I have kids but I told them I wouldn't come back until one of them got married or had, had a baby. So I'm just going to do this and mm. hopefully to be touched by it and spiritually by it. That's really the main reason. That's oh, yes. Thank you. Thank you. I hope that was short enough. Hi. Привет. Bonjour. Bonjour. Как вас зовут? Дарья. Дарья, в чем причина? Зачем вот эти 700-800 километров? Это же тяжело. В прошлом году было 1585. О, это круто. И у меня было усталость на перелом. Я шла на обезболивающих больше месяца. Это было очень-очень-очень больно. Зачем? Зачем? Я, я пошла, потому что мне это преследовало до этого 13 лет. Я хотела с 17 лет пойти, я хотела... У меня везде были знаки, везде всякие ракушки, что-то еще. Я не, не очень знала, что это, я не знала всю глубину, и я хотела пойти, потому что я думала, что я люблю ходить. То есть пока я не прошла где-то половину, мне так казалось. А потом на два... Я не знала, что у меня были проблемы, я думала, что я хорошо живу. На 26-й примерно день, говорят, что 21, я очень медленная. На 26-й день я поняла, какие у меня есть вопросы к самой себе и к Вселенной. И на 40, примерно 5-й день я начала получать ответы на эти вопросы, причем так оптом ответы. И до самого конца они приходили, приходили. И когда я возвращ... когда я шла последние дни до Сантьяго, я боялась поднять глаза на людей, потому что у меня из глаз лился свет. Такое, что я боялась людей сжечь. Мы шли с девочкой, с француженкой, всю Испанию вместе, но она тоже из Франции шла. И нас называли Dos Angeles del Camino. Мы пели песни, мы всем отлавливали людей, которые еще не пришли и пытались их спасать. А потом я вернулась, я, была, я точно знала, что я хочу делать. Я была абсолютно уверена в том, кто я есть, как я выгляжу физически, морально, снаружи, изнутри, чего я хочу от жизни. Собственно, весь учебный год я придумала после этого на камину у друзей из Франции, у, в основном из Франции, у всех друзей, которых я завела в пути. А потом зимой я познакомилась с Оливье. И, и, а так, сейчас вы уже замужем. Я почти, я в процессе, я все бумажки уже сделала. Хорошо, И отлично. в этот раз мы пошли уже... Э, во-первых, искать место, где мы будем жить и работать, потому что мы хотим жить на камере. Да, да. И во-вторых, потестить. Если мы друг друга не убьем и не съедим до Сантьяго, то жениться точно можно. Спасибо. Приятного пути вам. Я тебя люблю. In Alberga San Nicolas in La Rasoania. The third day of my Camino begins. On the wall you see a large map of the Camino de Santiago with sites along the way and at the very end the cathedral in Santiago which everyone posts on Facebook and Instagram. 
We are now in a room that serves as a reception and a cafe in the albergue. This is a private albergue, not a municipal one, where we spent the night before. Everything was done very soundly and with care. Night cost 12 euros and another 12 euros cost dinner. Hi guys, у спиной у меня альберги Сан Николас, в котором я провел ночь. Сейчас уже 7 утра, валялся столько, сколько мог. Вроде как пора уже стартовать потихонечку. Сейчас, наверное, пойду до Памплоны. Оттуда всего 15 километров. Так что сегодня у меня разгрузочный день. Все окей. На небе, правда, не облачко и будет жарко. И еще жарче будет послезавтра. Что-то с этим тоже будем делать. Cheers, guys. Увидимся. Buongiorno. Buon cammino. Buon cammino. <laughs> Voilà. We walk along forest paths, along streams and rivers. Sometimes we cross bridges. Sometimes we go out onto the highway. Camino is well marked with a sign at every fork. From time to time you can replenish water supplies. So you don't need to carry a lot of water with you. And even have a snack on the trail if necessary. Where am I, guys? From here, the center of Pamplona is about 4 kilometers away. I'm already walking through these suburbs. And this is a pedestrian bridge across the river that flows around the walls of the old city. Do not walk on it very drunk, it can be risky. And so about noon I got to the old city. A few hundred meters more and I'm in Albergue Jesus in Maria. Now I am at the door of the albergue and greet my fellow pilgrims. Hola, buenos dias! <laughs> you should know, guys, when you go to your Camino, Santiago will send you angels along the way. You just need to recognize them. And this is the first angel that Santiago sent to rescue me. You are in my heart. The church was built by Jesuits in the middle of the 16th century and in 2007 it was converted into a pilgrim hostel. Hola. Buenos dias. Buenos dias, caballero. Uh. Get ready guys for an intense, in every sense, and I mean in every sense rest and fiesta in Pamplona. There is a lot to do in this big city from noon to the next morning. Irunia Cafe on the central square of the city, existing since 1888 for example, a recommended place to start your personal fiesta. That's all for today guys. See you! Hi guys, 7 утра в Памплоне. Сегодня я чуть-чуть задержался с подъемом, потому что вчера народ шумел допоздна. Допоздна, до 11 никто спать не собирался. Мы идем до пункта Дель Рейна, или что-то там связано с какой-то из испанских королев. Это 24 километра от Памплоны. Cheers, guys! Say goodbye to Pamplona and together with these two girls I am heading west to the next point of our path. This is the 
first attempt at getting rid of raincoats. I must say right away, premature. In the films we were covered with a downpour with wind and thunderstorm. And this is how I looked right after this shower. Christina, show your face. <laughs> so how are you today? Today? Yeah. Very good. <laughs> it's fresh. So not uh, too much of sunshine. <laughs> Another famous place on the Camino de Santiago. This is Alto del Perdón Pass. If you try to translate the name from Spanish, you get something like a mountain of purification. Today, a small stone shrine for the Virgin faces the iron sculpture of a pilgrimage. Very impressive view, guys. You will love this place. We continue our journey west. With a last glance at the pilgrim sculpture, we begin a long descent into the valley. In the distance, on the horizon, our target is already visible. Puente la Reina. To the right, pilgrim on bicycles or bicigrinos. Left, pilgrims on foot. About six kilometers remain to the target. I need to rest and eat. And perhaps to talk to pilgrims. Okay. Gracias. <laughs> Mike, from USA. USA. Great. It was very peaceful and yeah. magical. Wonderful place to be with wonderful people. This is why you make your Camino. Absolutely, yes. That's great, thank you very much. Uh, for me, it's, uh, it's uh, a vacation to relax and uh, see people, lovely people here. <laughs> see the northern uh, uh, Spain, it's really beautiful. The food is excellent. And, um, yes. So it's vacation, vacation. <laughs> and new experience, I understand. Yes. And you are from Finland. I am yeah. from Finland. I'm Sanna. Hi. Sanna. Sanna. Oh. Hello. <laughs> Very pleased to meet you, Sanna. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, I, I came uh, to the Camino because my son just uh, last year came to this Camino and uh, he said to me, it's, it's just for you because you like uh, to meet some some people, to just uh, with uh, different languages, and uh, I'm Christian too. And uh, when I I meet a church, I stop and I do a prayer. But uh, it's not the one reason. Uh, the best reason is the, the encounter of many people, and many people I I, I won't see you again after. But uh, it's. I I I I don't I encounters very very curious encounters. I met two year, two days ago two girls, one from uh, San Salvador, uh -huh. and one from Argentina. Great. And <laughs> we we talked together and we talked Spanish and. Uh, uh, 
we work well one with the others. You understand? And when when we leave, when we left, we embraced uh, <laughs> with uh, with pain, nearly pain. Yeah. It was nearly painful. Uh, uh, um, goodbye. You understand? Yeah. And I don't know their, their names. They don't know mine. We will never meet in the future. But it was a good and, uh, encounter. You understand what I mean? Yeah, of course. I understand <laughs> what I mean. What you mean? Yeah. Okay. I don't expect anything. <laughs> I, I'm a happy uh, husband. I'm a happy father. Happy grandfather, uh, happy professional too. I, I'm not in research of anything. I, uh, I also I, I just enjoy uh, encounters I do. Understand? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> A few more minutes to rest low my boots and socks to dry after the morning rain. The last kilometers are always the hardest, but finally I go to the albergue. I made it to Puente La Reina, 24 kilometers from Pamplona. Today was funny. Two or three times before the noon, we got quite heavy rain. When we crossed the pass, as if we landed in another country, dry and sunny, absolutely clear sky. In fact, it is certainly tiring. The last 10 kilometers were very difficult to walk today. An hour after arrival, I more or less came to my senses. For tomorrow, probably the same distance, about 25 kilometers. Cheers, guys. See you. That's all for today, guys. <laughs>